In this section I want to show you how you can personalize your desktop. And desktop consists of several pieces. And I want to show you different pieces of your desktop. This part that I'm highlighting, it is called your desktop background. And here you can open windows, you can shift between windows, you can you know, do your job, whatever you are doing, it happens in this area. And the other area that I want to show you is this. If I highlight this part, you can see there is a Windows button. And this is called Start button in Windows 10. We have this part that is called Taskbar. And of course, Taskbar goes until here. And this part is called System Tray. And it contains some, you know, specific icons with some specific, you know, context menus. So, I want to talk about each of these. First of all, the desktop background. Desktop background is a place that you put or open every window in here. Everything happens here. And if I want to personalize this, I need to right click in an empty area. And by empty area, I mean you are not going to right click on any icon here or on any window here, just the, the background. And if I right click on this, you can see this context menu opens and at the bottom of this context menu I can see personalize. I click on personalize and here I can see different themes that I can select for my background. Now I want to uh, note something. I want you to note something. We have this part of a window that is called title bar and we have this part of desktop that is called task bar and it contains of different pieces as I told you a start button, the task bar and the, the uh, system tray. Now notice when I change the uh, theme what happens? If I change the theme from default windows theme that is called windows so for example lines and colors, you can see that the title bar changes its color, the background changes, the taskbar changes its color, and this is based on the fact that there is a new theme selected here. I can select another theme that is called flowers, and based on this I have another set of background, uh, you know, um, pictures, another set of colors on my window and on my taskbar. So we have three different Windows default themes and of course we have some themes for those who are visually impaired and have you know visual problems and these themes are high contrast themes and I'm not going to select them. Uh, when I select a theme, for example the Windows theme, I can again customize this theme. And how can I do this customization? I can select items here by clicking each of these buttons. I can go and select the specific customization that I want. For example, I do not like this background. I want my own set of backgrounds or my only one background. So I can go to desktop background, click here. As you can see here I have Windows background that has a check mark on that. And if I go up I can see some other pictures that do not have any check. And these pictures have a name on them and this name is the name of the team that these pictures belong to. But again, although I am in this team, in Windows team, I can go and select the pictures that are in flowers teams or lines and colors team. And of course you can install other teams by downloading them from trusted website. And I uh, you know uh, I want to emphasize on the trusted word because most of the sites that offer you free themes, they are actually offering you viruses and this is not a wise thing to install those themes. Okay, now let me select one of these, uh, you know, backgrounds. I don't want this background, I just go and click on that so this check is going to be removed. I want to have, for example, this background, I click on that and as I click on that you can see the background changes immediately. As you notice, I have selected only one background, but if I move my mouse over other backgrounds pictures, I can click on them and select them. For example, this one, 
this one and this one and even this one now what happens when I what, what, what happens when I select multiple items if I select multiple item I can come down and there is a drop down menu here that I can select one of these time ranges and based on these time ranges backgrounds will change and all the backgrounds that I have selected will be you know displayed consequently so I prefer to have them change every three minutes and of course I have a shuffle here this will you know um, this will uh, somehow um, it is not going to you know take care of the order it is going to select one of these items that I have selected randomly and it will show you to these uh, you know backgrounds okay now we have selected these items but I have some another uh, you know, another set of pictures that I want them to load here what should I do first of all I can go to picture location if I click on picture location I can see picture library I can see top rated photos on my system I can see solid color and I can select this PC as you can see I have two other folders here I want to show you how these folders have appeared here because the pictures that I wanted they were not here in this drop down menu I had clicked on browse I clicked on browse and I selected pictures from where I have put those pictures and if I go to this PC and go to you know drive C and open that I have some pictures in a photos folder I select the photos folder click on OK and as you can see the folders in photos are going to show uh, you know here there is no photo in folders folder let me search another one if I go to for example this PC and go to pictures and open them there is a scene folder here you can select this click on OK and you can see all the scenes all the pictures in this folder are selected if I want to select only a few of them I can just go and click on clear all and go and select the items that I want for example this one this one and this one if I want all of them to be selected I can go and click on select all and this is what I want and I can go and again select the time range from this drop down menu and if I want to I can click on shuffle now on the left part we have a picture position fill is the best way it is not going to change the ratio of this picture bit of uh, fit is another option that does not change the ratio but if this picture does not conform to the ratio of my monitor it is going to you know have some blank areas that fit shows them using black color I can select a stretch and it is going to you know distort your picture to change its ratio to your to conform to your monitor's ratio we have tile for those pictures that are smaller than your monitor's resolution and it is going to be repeated horizontally and vertically and we have center and center again is for those pictures that are you know big or small it doesn't matter with which one but it is going to be centered on your monitor so as I told you fill is the best option and I'm going to stick with that click on save changes now you have configured your desktop background